and I used the packaging for the items as uh, to cast from those. So these are the reverse of everything. And um, I'm intrigued by the, the, the detail you find in a box. Although this pizza is probably 1.99, you get uh, an embossed mm. box. And, Dr. Uh, Erker. Dr. Erker. <laughs> Other pizzas are available, sorry, I'm not closing. Unless Dr. Erker wants to sponsor yeah. us. Yeah. And um, here's a box of Alpen. Again, output if you want to sponsor. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> this is milk, and uh, this, these are eggs. So um, I, I, I've done it in black and white, uh, not because I'm scared of colour, but because I wanted to highlight mm. the shapes of the packaging and um, that highlight that everyday event where we will make lists and go to the shops. Um, interestingly enough, there is no bread in the shopping basket because, of course, the person who went to the shops lost the shopping list. So, uh, but probably had a busy day at work and couldn't retain those three items. I mean, I, I think that the black and white takes something, again, it, it's lovely when you make links between, you know, think about Louise's pencils, you know, this everyday thing that's turned into something extraordinary. There it's because they're like ants that they, they kind of become more than some. Here, it's almost isolation, isn't it? By having it in white, having it on this black, stark black background, there's something quite melancholy about yes. it, actually, isn't there? There's something a bit um, kitchen sink, or, or even in a strange way, um, like a weird association I take from it. It's like when you see Pompeii mm -hmm. and, and this, this idea of an everyday life that's just suddenly stopped and is ossified, you know, that it's, it's quite powerful, isn't it? That, and this idea of it all being turned into this permanent material and it's not there. Um, so there's a kind of fragility and there's something quite sad about it. I don't know, it was, is that something that you, you, you've seen? Yes, I, well, I think, you know, sometimes everyday life can get a little bit, a little bit of a grind. Yeah. And something for tea is I just can't think of anything yeah. for tea, so I put something for tea. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it benefits from being next to some highly colourful. Absolutely, work, you know, that's that a lovely that the curatorial uh, decision. Yes, and yeah. uh, there was no accident. Yeah. Um, yes, it does have a sombre feel to it. it and and um, yeah. And it's not like that they, that the milk is open, isn't it? As well, it's sort yeah. of like you wonder what was going on. You know, you, yeah. you can't help. It's, it's you know, uh, there is a certain affinity. Someone like Rachel White read about about there is something kind of sad or lonely about these spaces that have suddenly been filled in and, and you, you, you almost can't help but enter into a narrative, can you, when you see that, because it's so recognisable and it, it's, again, the link, thinking about the relatability of Helen's work with, with the Jackson Pollock at home, the lockdown, and when you think about the last year, um, the anxiety of shopping, <laughs> that suddenly uh, this, this, this boring everyday activity suddenly became freighted with danger and, and risk of touching a surface you have to rub it down put it in quarantine for two days before you can touch it again or, or put antibacterial wipes so suddenly seeing it like this um all of that you can't you can't miss that context can you with it it's, it's, no. it feels very um very of its very of the time i think it talks to the now doesn't it yes well that, that sometimes comes through without you knowing it yeah which is um Great thing about art. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there, there, you're right, there's no love there. It's mm. very functional. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's a really powerful piece. So, congratulations, well done, Stuart. <laughs> me, I haven't missed anyone, have I? Yeah. No, so, really, I just want to say thank you for watching. Those of you who are watching us in the future, hopefully, this upload will have worked and, and you'll be able to watch it. And more than anything, I just want to say well done to all eight of the students there. Um, there's all, I was saying to Jane, uh, my, my colleague Jane, as we were walking in, there's always a heart in the mouth moment when we approach the gallery because literally they were left to their own devices to put the show on and you don't know what you're going to walk in on. And we always come in and it's an absolute delight to come in. And I think you've done it again. You always raise your game when you're in there. So congratulations, everyone. And uh, my hat's off to you. Big round of applause. Well done. So thank you very much. And I hope you'll be
be able to come see the show during its run. If not, um, I'm sure you'll find lots of images online. So thanks very much. Goodbye.